Hey there, Pipers. Thanks for tuning in to the last Piper Report of the semester. Grades are in if you have submitted your course evaluations, and the class of 2015 is moving on to bigger opportunities. On May 22nd and 23rd, Hamlin hosted its graduation ceremony. Senior Andrew Brady was selected as this year's commencement speaker. Despite a little bit of rain, Andrew gave an inspiring speech on not being a product of your environment, but making your environment a product of you. On May 9th and 10th, Hamlin competed at McAllister for the Mayak Outdoor Championship. Hamlin athletes had a great meet with many notable accomplishments and placed second overall in the tournament. Tom Larson won two individual events in the 100 meter and in the 200. Mark Volker maintained his title and won the first place in the men's pole vault. Jordan Seward placed second in the triple jump and Ryan Peterson won second in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. Eric Hansen placed third and Rex Gould placed seventh in the 110 hurdles. Carolyn Salisbury won the triple jump at 100 hurdles and qualified for nationals. Aaron Urbowitz and Jessica Putland qualified for nationals in the hammer throw. Sarah Nestor also made seventh in the triple jump and also paired with Brianna Baker, Christy Dolwo, and Izzy Schaefer to place eighth in the relay. Khadijah Pierce, Danielle Zephofer, Michaela Hench, and Izzy Schaefer also took sixth place in the 4 by 100 relay. Congrats to all our athletes. We look forward to a great season next year. Jack Bryan here, reporting for the Piper Report. I'm at Kloss Field, where the Hamlin to Hamlin collaboration Hike for Health just took place. Hamlin University athletic teams kept approximately 450 kids from Hamlin Elementary active and outdoors with lots of fun games and activities. After the event, I asked a couple kids from Hamlin Elementary why they thought it was important to play outdoors. Because you can, um, like, you can exercise and, like, like, learn new things sometimes. Yeah. Well, so you can, so you have energy, um, it burns off energy, and it's kind of fun to play outside and you shouldn't be stuck in all, indoors all day. A lot has happened at Hamlin over the past year. Let's take a look back at all the great events and important news the Pipe Report has covered. You hear that? That's the sound of pride. And support Hamlin Athletics. The goal is just to um, not give people the answer to the meaning of peace, but the goal is to encourage them to join the conversation. I am running for governor because I think someone needs to stand up for the forgotten middle class in this state. Campus gained a new facility over the summer, Walker and Sport Court. The Piper Report interviewed Hamlin University Student Council President. The Not Here Rally is a community gathering to stand together against all forms of discrimination and violence. On November 19th, there was Drew Fest, a celebration of all of Drew Residence Hall's residents because they are all awesome. I play the role of Banquo in Macbeth. This play is basically about Macbeth and his friend Banquo. It's a unique opportunity that most sports don't get to go through here. Our exciting night came to an end with our headliner, Small Pools. Minnesota State Grant is actually very important to us. My name is Eric Yakel and I am the new Husk President for the upcoming year. My name is Ray Rodney and I'm the Vice President for the upcoming year. We're here at CHS Field where Hamlin men's baseball team is playing the first ever game at the new stadium. Um, and it's a bad boy found in a cave. Um, 
And this show is really just making that spoof of an article into kind of reality. We're trying to bring it to, to the stage. We meet with future Hamlin University president, Dr. Faye Neese Miller. I, I love the welcome that I received. And um, what it said to me that people are open. Thanks again for tuning into the Pipe Report. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like down below and subscribe to Hamlin University's YouTube page. You can watch more Piper reports, interviews, inside looks into programs and majors, and student life and campus events. Still want to learn more about being a Piper? Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at HamlinU. Tweet at us using the hashtag PiperReport to tell us what you'd like us to cover next. We'll see you next month.